Uh, we're at the Thomson Reuters Synergy 2017 conference with Richard Sargent from Principal Point and Alex Falcon Huerta from Soaring Falcon Accountants. Richard, you consult to company to accountancy firms and, and help them with their cloud strategies. Yeah. Now, our figures show at Accounting Web that, that and the people at this event are all kind of now supporting clients in the cloud, sort of basic cloud accounting services. Mm. Um, Alex is kind of you know, one of the pioneers of that model. She's, she's actually set up a 100% cloud practice. Yeah. So, so that's where we stand. It's kind of mainstream. Everybody's doing it a bit. What do you think is going to develop on the cloud accounting scene? Well, I, I still think it's a very, very mixed picture, John. We've got some people like Alex who probably represent one or two percent of practices. And then we have a very broad range of approaches and a very broad range of um, client types, which means there are lots of solutions just being discovered as they go along. So it's a long way yet before I think we're a true cloud profession, a long way away from that. But things like MTD will help speed that journey along. So, so Alex, as someone who, who is a bit of a pioneer in the cloud, mm -hmm. What lessons can you pass on from those firms who aren't quite as advanced down that road as you are? You know, can you take some of the pain of, what, of the journey away from them? Yeah, so, um, um, so I share my story in the products that I use. Um, so um, they're available um, on my website and um, um, I'm happy to um, collaborate and just let people know the products that have made it easy for me. So, um, and there are other firms out there that are happy to, to share their knowledge. Now, now Richard mentioned MTD a, a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's going to be a real sort of power, a surge for, for accountants to move onto the cloud and there's sort of many of them are really going to have to think of moving their clients onto mm. the cloud. Yeah. Are you using MTD as a, a lever for your uh, marketing? Um, yeah, actually I am um, because it's um, forcing people to um, go online. Um, because I've set the practice up, um, it's using that as a campaign to then push it forward. Um, so it's not just about me making everyone be online, it's HMRC pushing that forward. To what extent do you think MTD is, is an opportunity for practices and, and how best do you think they should play it to, to, yeah. for them to get the most out of it and their clients? I, I think it's the reassurance point to be brutally honest. We are MTD ready to go out on the front foot to new clients, just put existing clients to one side for a second, but the message should be we are, we're here, we're ready, we can, we can cope, we can deal with this because there will be people out there who are not sure of the capabilities of their accountants or they're unsure what they, what they need to do. So I think that using it as an immediate point of reassurance is good. I think also then there's the additional benefits you're saying to people, this is the way that we're going to do business. Okay, so we're bringing more than just an MTD solution to you, we're bringing a way that you can look at your business in a different kind of way. And I think it builds out from that. So MTD shouldn't be something which is used as a scare tactic. I think it's reassurance, positivity, uh, just telling people what they're, you know, what, trying to find the benefits of it where not a lot of benefits are initially very clear. Well, that's maybe, maybe your role here can, can give us some of the excitement about the cloud, some <laughs> of the benefits. You know, what are the things that get you, you know, get you really excited and interested when, when you're looking at cloud tools? Um, I think um, if, it, if I start off with a client that has never been um, on a software solution at all and their paper method and then moving them onto an online solution where they can have visibility of their finances, they're actually becoming more excited about it. Um, once you've got them online and they're happy with their finances, they know where they're going, they can make faster decisions um, because they've got the information there real time. And that is only going to push out to other people in the, who have smaller businesses because they're going to want the same. Um, and it's probably going to be a, a trend that they want to follow. So I think um, the making tax digital is going to become easier but in a couple of years' time. You know, accounting web figures, we, we've got data from our Practice Excellence Award entrance and it does show there's a bit of a two-stream approach to the cloud and there are people just offer the basic services. Mm -hmm. And then there are the ones doing virtual finance services, mm -hmm. KPIs, yeah. using it as a platform for business advice. Mm -hmm. But one thing we've noticed is, is, is it's almost that's, that's leveled off a little bit. There's almost a bit of a drag. You know, the people who know what they're doing with it are doing it, but it's not growing very rapidly. 
do you think the, the profusion of all those add-ons out there, do you think that's a bit of a break? Just being able to process and work out what the tools, what tools work in which situations. Do you think that is a bit of a break on adoption? Um, I think uh, of the technology companies are seeing a gap in the market and they're seeing what areas they can fix and help accountants and small businesses. Um, so they're going to be developing constantly and that's not going to change. So um, there are lots of solutions available for small businesses, but it's just about researching them, um, using the marketplace to identify which one is going to be the right one for your industry and then narrow that solution down. So I think in the end um, you'll end up with a package that's going to be um, fit for one, one industry and then people will then sort of buy three products and know they're going to be the perfect package and then that will be probably shared within the industry. Well we've got some great practical ideas from Alex yeah. Richard. Can you maybe wrap it up for us by, by you know, passing on any principles of cloud application for the profession? Yes, and kind of, I'll just kind of wrap that in an observation. One thing I've noticed recently is there is more of a trend towards firms thinking about the add-on community first. And I think that's really an, an, an important shift. And I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that's going to go in the next couple of years. Because what that says to me is that the client-facing tools are becoming very, very important. We're getting that whole kind of package of functionality correct. And although it won't necessarily go down well in some quarters, I think what sits in the middle, the accounting software, is it doesn't matter what it is. You'll have preferences. But I think whether or not it's QBO or it's Zero or it's one of the other ones, they could be largely interchangeable. So I think the balance of power that way, and how people are thinking about the services could be evolving more in that way. Um, thank you. Okay, well, thanks both for sharing that, and uh, break a leg later on.